All right, guys, what's up? It's Alex coming at you with another video about things that you probably didn't learn in school. And it would have been nice to know. I just got back from a closing. I worked with a gentleman. He was awesome to work with. And uh, shout out to you, man. You know who you are. And I get this question all the time. How do I improve my credit, right? So there's a lot of different ways. You could scour the internet. I'm gonna give you the skinny on it. So what you wanna do is you wanna get a secured line of credit. You can either get a secured line or secured loan. What you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to the bank with some money and say, hey, banker, I would like to get a secured line of credit. They'll sign you up. You essentially put this money in, you lock it up for a year, and the whole goal is essentially to use that money as collateral to borrow against it. So what do I mean by that? So say you give them $500, $1,000. We'll use $1,000, right? You, you go set up, give them $1,000, then the bank is actually going to say, okay, we're going to let you borrow up to $1,000 at, say, 3 4% interest, depending on your credit. I mean, interest rates are low, right? So you go do that, and then you borrow it. Now, the key is to make sure that you keep this money in there for a year. They're going to have you do an agreement to keep your money for a year, right? That's a good idea because the best money decision isn't the best credit decision. So in interest, it might cost you 20 30 40 bucks, whatever. It's a good thing to do. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your money lock it up, then you're going to have another account or an auto payment, maybe with a family member or a friend with a credit card, tell them what you're doing, show them the video, say, hey, I'm trying to build my credit back up and I'm essentially going to take out a thousand, I'm going to give them a thousand dollars, then I'm going to borrow that thousand dollars for a year, make the minimum payment, and then at the end of that cycle, the one year, I'm going to pay it off in full. So this is going to do a couple of things. This is going to show the banks, hey, you're actually borrowing money you're a good credit risk, so it's going to improve your credit. Also, you're showing that you're making minimum payments while still holding a balance, which is good. And a couple other things, you're showing the bank, hey, I can borrow money and I'm willing to pay some interest, right? So it's going to help you out a lot. Or you could get a secured line of credit. So that's the second thing. So maybe you can go to a credit union is what I would recommend, a small regional bank. Don't go to the big conglomerates like U.S. Bank or Chase. I mean, they're all great, but you wanna start with the smaller banks because they're gonna be more likely to give you a secure line of credit or a secure loan. So a secured line might also be like a debit card that you could use and just use it for groceries and make sure that this is key. Make sure you have something set up on auto pay. And then after you complete this step, then you can move on to step two, which is gonna be a unsecured line of credit. And then you'll be able to improve your credit from here. So I hope this helps you. There's a lot of other good resources out there. I'll drop some in the comments and stuff like that. But thank you for watching this video. Like, subscribe. There's going to be more videos on how to learn things that you should have learned in school. So hopefully you guys are doing well. And nobody deserves success as much as you. So thanks, guys.